Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video from work. I did do a recap video from yesterday's episode, but I it got erased some kind of way. I don't know what I did. But before we get started on the um, comments, I wanted to talk about the 23-second preview for the week that we saw about General Hospital. I'm not going to re-record the recap. I'll probably just double recap tomorrow. And then, you know, we starting to do Saturday Night Live uh, wrap-ups. So, But anyway, the 23-second preview. We saw it looks like Carly is getting ready to confess. Um, basically, what I think is happening. Sonny found the paperwork. He read it. He sees what's going on with Willow. He's very upset. He tells Nina about it. He probably went to Michael and asked him about it. We don't know about all that. Um, maybe Drew, uh, he, maybe he went to Drew and then Carly found out, you know what I'm saying? Sonny, basically, I think everybody's going to find out that Willow is sick because of Sonny, especially Carly. And that is when she's going to tell Drew and then she's going to have to go in and confess. And I think that's what that chapel scene was about. My thing is, I guess we have to wait to see how it's all going to come out. But I was thinking if I was Carly... It might be too little too late, but she should have just told Drew at this point because he was looking for the mother. I wouldn't care what happened between me and Drew if I was her. I would just be like, just don't say nothing to my son because I don't want to like fall out with my son and lose my grandma privileges. So that's just what I thought about that preview. Also, oh, before we I go any further, I'm sorry. I needed to talk about um, Spencer and Sunny because I talked about it in the damn recap. I did, but it got erased. Spencer and Sonny, this is the beginning of it, isn't it, y'all? This is the beginning of the grooming, like Michael or Freddie, one of the uh, roosters said, as far as um, Spencer getting ready to take over the mob. I think Spencer is going to be present or some kind of way know what's going on um, with Sonny regarding that Pikeman deal. And I do believe that Spencer might save Sonny. I know what y'all saying, thinking probably, but I think as far as like, maybe he can call his uncle Cyrus. Um, Victor will do anything, anything for Spencer, even save Sonny, even if it means helping Sonny. But this is going to be the first step, like the roosters were saying, to the takeover of Sonny's business. Also, in the recap, I talked about I'm so mad I erased it. Y'all, I had so much to say, but I wanted to touch on one more thing in the recap. Willow, um, when she was trying to get, you know, talking about Michael and Sonny and can't you kind of like appreciate the man that he's become since he's been back from Nixon Falls. She is going to, they're going to shun Carly. Nina is going to get absolutely everything Carly had everything including her grandchildren now michael maybe not so much jocelyn never but as far as them grandkids and being welcome into the family fold all that uh christmas and thanksgiving at the quarter mains, that's over her and olivia might even fall out put it in the comments um Hold on, I got to get to y'all comments because I ramble. And I should have got to y'all comments while I was rambling. Okay, Dara is first. Dara says, I hope Dex is Jason's son. Another cue is always interesting and would make sense that Carly's daughter and Jason's son have a connection. Yeah, I hope he's a quarter main too. Catherine Piper says, also, I think they'll, uh, they will dedicate the nurse's ball to Epiphany. That would be amazing because the nurse's ball is supposed to be coming up soon. And then Catherine says, Victor will figure out he found a burnt ornament in the North Tower. He might confront Nicholas or go see Esme. If he does have, if she does have amnesia, the ornament might bring it back. Interesting that the police didn't ask her about it. Well, because she has amnesia and they probably didn't even think. Um, yeah, we saw Victor found the ornament. He may go to the hospital. He might. But they're keeping people out of there, so... Because Nicholas still haven't been able to get in there to see her yet. Look who is back home. Naya Boo, where have you been? Naya, for everybody, I don't even think. Naya was before Lisa and Sandy. This was my second subscriber. <laughs> no, my first subscriber and then Sandy. Like, they all came along at the same time. But Naya, I'll never forget her 
her little thumbnail and everything. Hello, Naya. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're back and don't leave me again. Um, Naya says, hey, Miss BB, it's been a while. Yes, dear. It's been quite some time um, since I commented, but I'm so happy to see how much you've grown. Oh, thank you. And you went live. You did an amazing job. Much love and success. I just saw the preview and it looks like Carly will confess and Drew is going to break up with her. She's so dumb for this. <laughs> she is so dumb for this. Yeah, I just said that. It does look like she's getting ready to confess because she doesn't have any other choice, right? Because of Sonny and he found out that Willow is sick and we need to hurry up and save Willow. Um, And yes, we did go live. I'm so glad that you saw it, even if because I didn't see you in there. But that means you probably caught the replay, I hope. But thank you so much. I'm so glad you're back. Um, Try to catch the other one. See, I know that you bleed motor oil like me. See, me and Miss Naya, we talked at the beginning. Um, but we haven't been in contact. So, Naya, um, you know, we got a lot of stuff coming up in the city. Shoot me an email so we can talk about it. Maybe we can get together because I went to... um. Osaka girl I went to Osaka I went to the, I did the afternoon tea I did the Van Gogh we got to talk about it I'm so glad you're back shoot me an email nope you know what I'm gonna shoot you an email please respond all right next comment is Steve Johnson what if Dex is Jason and Courtney's son poor Spencer will have two siblings he never asked for That's right. Because remember when everybody was saying, oh, Dex could be Jason's son. I'm like, well, who would the mama be? Because I couldn't think of anybody that he was really in love with other than Sam and Carly like that to where he would have a baby. But I forgot about Courtney. That would be amazing if it's his and Courtney's. I don't know how they would explain it, though. But I'm sure the writers will come up with some stupid excuse. And Spencer doesn't like Dex. That would be weird. Um, Gene L. Johnson says, hi, BB. This is my opinion. I don't think the hook killer storyline is far from being over. I read somewhere that the hook killer is Oliver's mother, who's coming back to General Hospital to get revenge on all the people that was involved with her son. She also would be in town, some troubles with Carly and Drew's relationship. I also... Uh, I think that means book <laughs> that I'm still like, I'm still rusty on these damn emojis, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, that GH was being canceled. Is that true? Oh, you heard the GH was being canceled. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it would make sense <laughs> the way these stories is so lackluster, but um, I'll have to look into that. I don't know what they would replace it with. If ABC and Disney cancels General Hospital, they would be stupid. Considering all this, and I know this don't have nothing to do with General Hospital, but considering all that kerfuffle they got going on with Good Morning America, if anything, they need to be bringing one of our soap operas back. But I will take a look and see if we're supposed to be being canceled. Well, I didn't hear nothing about it. Um, the Hood Killer storyline is far from being over. I think it's over, pretty much. I think everybody's theory is right about it being two killers so i think we'll have to deal with that found out who the second one is we see that we'll be wrapping up the carly and um willow thing and then i think after that we're gonna have to work on the victor thing and then we have to focus on sunny the pikeman thing um and you said oscar's mom was her face hmm that would be interesting. That could be a good one. That would be better than what they came up with. But I doubt if it if that is true. Uh, Oscar's mom. I know you said Oliver, but I know you meant Oscar. Yeah, I doubt if they bring uh, Oscar's mom back. Hold on. I'm about to see about the cancellation. Now you got me wondering. I don't feel like going on until I find out. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. I'm about to read y'all what I found. Hold on. General Hospital gets next season renewal. Although ABC doesn't issue official renewals for its only remaining soap opera, Deadline has reported that the gang in Port Charles will definitely be around for another season. The other three daytime drama, CBS, The Young and the Restless, and The Bold and the Beautiful, and NBC's Days of Our Lives are all recently renewed as well. 
ratings wise, General Hospital is currently on track to log its best season in seven years for total viewers and the category of female viewers age 18 to 49. These are our daughters, our granddaughters, us and girlfriend, you know, our friends. This is us that's keeping them alive. We're not going nowhere. The show could mark a three year high, they're saying. Um, we're not going nowhere. We'll be fine. Also, ABC would be stupid to do this if they, you know, to cancel General Hospital. They would be the only major network without a soap opera. Every other major network has a soap opera showing in the afternoon. Like, I feel that they're already making a mistake when they stretched out Good Morning America. And now look at the mess that they, they've going on with. You know, the Good Morning America crew. All of that stupid shit. They, they might as well put a soap opera on and replacement for what's going on. What is this? The TJ the hassled something and then that other girl, Regina, Rebecca. I don't know what her name is. But that right there, enough. Well, they should just cancel that whole part of Good Morning America and give us all my children a one life to live back. Put that in the comments. In fact, I think we need to harass the uh, network about that. Okay, let me get back to our comments. But no, our story's not going to be canceled. In fact, our ratings are higher. What it is is that ABC, I guess I never paid any attention until I started doing this channel. ABC never announces a renewal um, for General Hospital. I don't ever remember them doing that. Um, it's just they just keep on. They just renew. I had read about it a long time ago. They just renew the actors' contracts. And see, I think that's why Marcus Coloma got the boot. Because his con it's, it's time. Maybe we really are going to get Tyler Christopher back. Tyler Christopher know more than we know. Shoot, he ain't begging for his job back for nothing. Um, Let's see who was next. Freddie. Freddie says if Cameron were to get involved with friendly Esme, it would be kind of strange. But at the same time, it would be interesting. I would enjoy... I would enjoy it just to see the look on Jocelyn's face. Yeah, her and Trina. Um, so she would know how it feels to be hurt and betrayed, just like when she dumped Cam on New Year's and slept with Dex. And then Freddie says, Carly is about to get exposed this week with a popcorn bucket. <laughs> you excited? <laughs> yes, Carly is getting ready to be exposed. Um, I think it would be really good for Esme, this version of Esme, to be with Cameron. I really do. I think what's going to happen is maybe her and Cameron will get together and she's going to get that her memory back or something. And I don't know, but I really hope the writers are smart enough to put them together. If the writers would listen to us, we wouldn't have to be nervous about if our show being canceled, do we? Um, Q Quebec says uh, congratulations to Linda on going back to school. 179 CPV says, hi, Baron, and sorry I missed the live stream. I'm on the West Coast. Okay, that's good to know. I'm glad to know that you're on the West Coast because that can, like, so, if, so, West Coast people, y'all, what, three hours behind? So, that is a weird time of day for y'all for a live three. It would be, what, three o'clock? Um, Put it in the comments, West Coast. Let's do West Coast first, because I can adjust for my people on my end. <laughs> West Coast, what's a good time on a Saturday for y'all if you was going to listen to a live? Like, what's a good time? Because I feel like 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, y'all be doing stuff. Um, And then it, won't, it wouldn't be Saturday Night Live recap for y'all if I do it at 8 o'clock for the West Coast people. So, I might do it. I might do it. I might be too late. My time. Oh, you wouldn't think three hours would make a big difference, it? But at our time of life, three hours is nap time, bedtime, or work time. So we have to, <laughs> we'll work it out. Um, dang. Just let me know in the comments, everybody. My West Coast people, East Coast people, let me know what's a good time. I'm thinking 8 o'clock West Coast time. Is that too late for us? I don't know. We'll see. We'll work on it. But I'll announce it because I got the next live coming up this week so we can do the recap. I have to think of a time. Um, but anyway, 179 says, um, 
there on the west coast and must have gotten the times confused when they entered the stream there was nobody there maybe next time i know i'm so sorry don't worry i'm gonna fix it i'm gonna we gonna figure out a good time for y'all west coast folks and then uh 179 says still waiting for victor's drug to take effect might have a long wait somebody has to explain that to me like is it another part of the drug is he gonna suddenly get sick or something because y'all do remember holly said it's not supposed to kill him whatever it is it's not gonna kill him because she said she didn't want to kill him because she needed to find ethan first so i don't know i think maybe i think the writers forgot that they wrote that in i really do elaine says i think it was brit the hook you think brit hold on did i miss something no. Oh, what you talking about, Elaine? You think what was Brit? And then Yolanda responds to you, Elaine, and says, okay, you must be talking about the hook. How would that work? And then MZ, hello, MZ. Let me make this big because you look new. Hold on. Let me zoom in on MZ. MZ, you are new. Thank you for commenting and welcome to the comments. Um, MZ says, what, what? Brit got scratched with the hook and passed away. Yeah, Elaine, I don't know. Did you miss that, Elaine? That Brit got past, she got hooked. So it couldn't be Brit. Or do you think, are you saying you think it was Brit regarding the bone marrow donor? See, I'm not sure exactly what she was referring to. Because Elaine been with me for a while. She know what's going on over here. Elaine is back again and says, hi, Baroness. I think Dex is a triple agent. I think there are two hooks. I think it's the assistant ADA. The hooker never wore a mask right and wore a different kind of hoodie. I think it's her because she lost the case against Trina. She wasn't very happy. No, she wasn't. The, D, the ADA is small. She's a small lady, too. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to. We they, they don't show her enough, do they? For us to be able to say is she right handed or left handed, like we've been doing with Ryan and them. Put it in the comments. Do you think? Because you know we don't put up a million pictures of the hook, and they all look so different. But I still can't say that it's a woman i know i do believe it is two hook killers but i don't think the second hook killer is a woman because of brando and rory i just don't see a female taking out brando especially brando is t i don't know y'all know i don't get me started on the rant about my service men and women y'all know i think they are like avengers right i i think they're damn near invincible i cannot see a female doing that to Brando. And I understand that Brando was hooked, you know, he was taken by surprise. I think he was actually hooked from behind or something. Even with a wound that severe, Brando would have been able to stop a female. Do you know what I mean? Okay. But I do think it's two hook killers. I just don't think the second hook killer is female. Sandy Moon says, hey, Baroness, the live was beautiful. So much fun. Can't wait for the next one. I am so comfortable. I don't know why I ever doubted myself. Really, I, I don't. I should have known that y'all was going to make it all right for me. Y'all made it all right. I'm going to do this every Saturday. Now, we're going to do the recap every Saturday. And we're going to do, I'm going to read a few comments before we get started. It's going to be just like it was last week. I might just change the time so the West, so it won't look so weird for the West Coast people. It's some um it's some young men that I love to listen to their live. It's called the August and Rello show. They something else. They not everybody's cup of tea. I'm gonna tell y'all now because we older than these young people. Um, but they talk a lot about um hip hop and things, and I really, you know, I I love hip hop. So I like to listen to them. And I like the way they do their lives. So um I might kind of take a page out of they book and see how you know what times they go live i might have to pay attention to that because i know they got people in africa that watch them shot people don't care what time it is when they tune in the august and rello show but i do know that they're on my side you know I'm, i think one of them is actually from here 
So maybe I'll try to mimic their time. You know what I'm saying? So we'll figure it out. That's the way you learn. I'm sure they won't mind if auntie go on their page and see <laughs> how they run stuff a little bit. <laughs> Um, long as I keep Cash App because they do cash, you know, they when they go live, they put up their Cash Apps and stuff. So I said, well, I have to make sure I tip them real nice on the next live for helping me out. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Teresa says maybe Victor is the baby daddy. Ew, but maybe that would be funny. Y'all know that's that. That was that's a good one, Teresa. But I seriously doubt that. Uh, the worldly says amnesia will. Let me say. It. Let me go back. Let me stop saying I seriously doubt that because the writers play a whole hell of a lot, don't they? And you never know. We don't. We never, ever know. I doubt it, but who knows? We're going to always leave the week. We're going to put it on the table. You got to come. We're going to put it on the kids' table with me and Sandy and the rest of us. But we're going to put it on the table. Um, Otherworldly says amnesia will be Esme's redemption compared to the idea of Esme and Lonely Cam coming together. Yep. To Liz and Franco coming together after the brain tumor was removed. Yes. And I want to say for the record, right this very second. And I know y'all watch other channels. This theory right here, the Esme and Cameron theory belongs to us. If y'all go to any other channel and y'all see these other spoiler channels, you know, like trying, because I've seen it. I've seen y'all ideas come up on other channels. And I'm like, my hand said that. And I know that these be y'all freaking ideas. I want y'all to call them out. I want y'all to call these people out and tell them to stop taking our damn ideas. Now, don't start no internet beef. Just be like, listen, we heard this before. I have never so far, let me know if I'm wrong, I have not heard anybody say this about Esme and Cameron. Never have not heard it. I'm going to give y'all full and total credit. If anybody other channel says this is a breaking spoiler for General Hospital Cameron and Esme, they a damn lie. Y'all came up with this one. And that's why we've been talking about it so much lately. We have been talking about how they're going to bring Esme to redemption since she came on the show. Because we thought that, um, remember, we thought that being the daughter of Felicia and Mac was going to be her redemption story. This amnesia and being with Cameron is it. And this is y'all idea. And if I see somebody, I'm going to call them out too. I don't like when I, I'm starting to get a little bit protective about that. I'm like, my hand said that. I'll be like, I seen Catherine say that. And I like see it. Next thing you know, it's like somebody like made their whole video around something y'all said and i'm like that is so bold <laughs> i was like i'm gonna start calling these people out um hey vicky vicky h says maybe the baby daddy is the kindly fisherman that rescued her we talked about this like i think before christmas y'all remember and i'm like well she wasn't with the fisherman that long that long remember esme is supposed to be like seven months i think they said and that doesn't add up from the time, you know, that she fell off the parapet. I definitely get, I know that it's Nicholas's baby. I, there's no doubt on whose baby it is. In my mind, I could be wrong. But right now, I'm 100% sure that it's Nicholas's. Lisa says Portia is cutting her own self out of Curtis's relationship because of her lie about Trina. She knows how he feels about lies, even though... Yeah, he's still lying to her. He has lied to her, too. He hasn't told her Miss Wu has taken over his club. We haven't seen the club. We didn't even get to see the club for the holidays. Not really, did we? That was weird. I know everybody was at the Haunted Star, but you would figure Miss Wu and them would have party <laughs> at the club. Um, And one more time, Lisa says it may not have to go public about Carly knowing about Willow and Nina. Oh, it's going public. We saw that in the 23 second preview. If you think Nina is not getting ready to nail herself to the cross, child, please. She she is going to milk this. Can you believe what she did to me? Haven't I lost enough? Woe is me. Snarly Carly. Oh, Penny Weston and the rest of y'all that don't like Carly. I know y'all is revved up for this one. Um... And last but not least, my baby Barbara says on the show today, on the 9th, I think Dante said Esme was eight months pregnant. That means she got pregnant around May 20, uh, 
May of last year, 2022, I didn't think Esme had seduced Nicholas at that point. Shit. Like a barber throwing doubts. I just said Nicholas was that baby daddy barber. <laughs> Shoot. What we know is not Spencer's and we know she didn't sleep with Oz. And she hadn't fell off the parapet yet to run into the fisherman. Dimitri has always been around, but they never show any interaction with Esme and Dimitri. Put it in the comments, uh, you guys, if you think that that's somebody else's baby. I definitely think it's Nicholas's baby. Okay, y'all, it is three o'clock. I got an hour before I get to go home and see what my wine is doing. Um... I think I'm going to try to get another video out. I ought to get home and see what my son, how he feeling today. And then I'll catch y'all in the comments. Jen hands like and um, all that stuff at the bottom. Like and comment and hit them buttons. And I'll catch you later. <laughs>